Hello friends, welcome back to Cool IT Help. In this tutorial session, we are going to install Android Studio on Mac OS. Let's begin. Open the browser and just type Android Studio download. Press enter and then you will see some search results. Here you have to pick the first one. Open this in new tab. Once the page will be loaded, you will see the Android Studio official download page. Here all the information is present. Lot of tutorials, reference materials available. Here we have the download link. We need to click on this one. Also, the features mentioned just below on the page. If you want to go through it, please check it. Let's proceed with the download. So once you click, you will see this pop-up box and the information about the download and the license terms and agreement. Just scroll down come to this place and check this box and then these two buttons will be enabled here we have to select the compatible download uh, like if we have a mac with intel chip so we will proceed with the first one and those who have the apple silicon chip will proceed with the second right so i'm going to download the second one because i have mac m2 once you click the downloading will start so this is around 1.2 gb i have already downloaded it to save the time let's proceed now i am inside the download folder and here is the dmg file you can simply double click it once the downloading will finish in your case and this kind of pop-up box pop-up window will appear studio installation and this is very straightforward thing simply drag and drop Okay, so this is the Android Studio application icon. Simply drag on the top of this applications folder. And soon the copying process will start. It's done. Now we can simply go inside the applications folder and verify. This is moved inside. Now when you come inside the applications folder, you can see the very first icon Android Studio is present. Okay, now you can simply double click to launch it or you can search it via the launch pad. Go to the launch pad and you can simply type the Android Studio and click the icon to launch the Android Studio first time on your system. And then you will get a pop-up box from the Mac security that this is the app not downloaded from the App Store. That's why we are getting this message. Let's fix this. Go to the Apple icon. Go to the system security and scroll down. Go to the privacy and security section. Then scroll down on the right hand side. Okay, and now just click on this OK box. Then you will get a message here with a button open anyway to proceed. Click on this and this will ask you for the Mac password. Enter your Mac password. Click modify settings. It's done. Again, you will get a pop up box. To proceed click open and here we got a splash screen and destroyed studio android studio uh, installer is working now don't send okay we got a welcome screen of the setup now click on the next and here install type the standard i will recommend to go with the standard because all features that you need will be come inside this standard type of installation if you go with the custom so you have to choose a lot of things so please ignore and go with standard now click next and here the settings will be displayed the android emulator is assigned 295 mb android sdk build tool 34 and uh, the rest of the things are appearing here for the confirmation seems good And we will get a one uh, AVD, a virtual machine by default with this installation. Okay, we are good to go. And now we'll, we will click on the next button. Here, this is the license and agreement terms and condition page. So select the first one. This is for the Android SDK license. So just go through all these information and uh, if you are okay please accept it now again 
we have to do the another except for the Android SDK license. This is the different terms and condition. Simply go through it and accept it as well. Okay. Now click on the finish button and you will see the progress bar running. And this will take uh, some time to finish and finally you will get this finished message and the downloading of the component and installation is done now you will get the welcome screen of the android studio here you can proceed to create a new project or you can uh, debug any apk and you can import the project as well right so let's click on this more actions so we have a lot of actions here to do so you can import any android studio project here also if you want to simply run then a downloaded apk file you can proceed or debug it right and the third option is virtual device manager right so with the help of this you can set up the virtual device you can do changes in this configuration setting of the virtual device or you can create additional new virtual device for you right now by default we are getting this medium phone api 35 one virtual device by default let's run it so this will take a little bit time first because we are doing this activity first time once the setting in place and this will be loaded next time quickly and here is a, a virtual device appeared it is loading now you can see on the top of that android emulator and the phone api is 35 okay this is loaded see this this virtual device is properly working so whenever you create any project any application you can simply deploy on this and test it virtual device we have seen now if we need to create any other specific virtual device so let's do that activity so click on this plus button then you will see this virtual device configuration window here under this category you can select the appropriate category that you want suppose you want phone tablet wear os desktop so let's proceed with the phone as example let's select a medium phone or we can select pixel 9 anyone let's uh, jump to the pixel 9 this is the device setup click next and here the system image the available system image that came by default uh, installation of this android studio is android 15.0 arm 64 v8 a1 eli screen right other also available but we need to download it that will take time so you must be connect connected to the internet to download the other images let's proceed with the existing available android system image okay i'm not going to download any other thing i will proceed with the existing one click next here you can see the configuration and we can verify if you want to give any specific name to your avd you can give it here okay the resolution is mentioned and what is the version of the android that's available and the all the settings are ready and you don't need to change anything here seems good click finish and this is the new virtual device ready here okay now we can launch it with the help of this play button click on this and you will see your device will be loaded here on the left hand side so our virtual device is boot is done and this is properly working now so you can proceed the okay so this is working properly so i've just closed that one let's move to the next thing so here we will create a simple project and we will deploy our app on that avd let's create a project click on the new project select here that empty activity you can go with the any other one as well but i am going as simple as i can because of uh, these 
tutorial let's give a name to our application you can also specify the package name if you want to change it which is coming by default and this is the same location for our project and we can also select the minimum SDK from this drop down list also this will show you the information like your selected SDK will cover the percentage devices right now I have selected the API 24 no gut and which is showing this will work on the 97.4 percent of devices so no need, no need to worry anything just uh, go to the next one choose Kotlin DSL under the build configuration click finish and wait for a second meanwhile our application folder will be set up by the Android studio and then we will find our app you can see uh, some task is in progress so we have to wait for these tasks to complete it configuration once this will be finished you can see on the top you will get that uh, app icon and the play button and the debug icon i'm showing you because these of these are the background process until this these background will finish you cannot proceed so first we have to let them complete their task and now we will see on the left hand side this app is ready and the files the main activity is just opened so you can start development with this okay this is the navigation window so here the different kind of views available for our project if you select the project you will see all the files associated with our projects everything will be displayed if you want to switch to the different you can simply select our Android app so the relevant files will be displayed I hope this is clear to you guys let's proceed with the Android and now on the top you can see the default uh, which was selected now we will change it to the pixel 9 api 35 which is our uh, newly created avd a virtual device so we can launch our app on that just click on this run button and wait for a few seconds virtual device will appear on right hand side and on the bottom you can see the build is in progress right now we have to wait for a few seconds more for the app loading inside the virtual device okay right now this is switched off so i have just switched on by clicking on this switch on button now i see on the top android studio the output is printing on the top execution is successfully done now let's close it We came on the home let me show you where our app is installed see this android icon let's close it and uh, we will try to do some change again then we will do a build and then we will deploy our app so here i'm going to do some changes in this string cool it help that's it now this will print hello cool IT help just click on the run app so this run app will first create the build and this will be deployed inside this AVD then we can launch it see this automatically launched and you will get the response here so friends we have seen how to download and install Android Studio and Mac OS also we have seen how to create a new AVD virtual device here inside the how we can run a sample application I hope you guys found this tutorial relevant and useful please hit the like button to appreciate and please subscribe to learn more and for now thanks for watching cool IT help